So, you've made a hypothesis and finished an experiment? Exciting! So now, how do you share your results? Scientists love graphs. But which kind of graph is best to showcase what you learned from your experiment? There's some cool options out there, and the first thing you need to do is to think about the kind of information you have. What are your inputs? What are your outputs? There's three main kinds of input. It could be time, like if you measured the temperature of water every five minutes. There's numerical, like if you measured the height of a catapult projectile at different distances away from the catapult. And there's categories, like if you measure the pH of different kinds of liquids. Once you know which kind of input you have, there's just one more question to ask yourself. Is your output, what you actually measured, a number, like the temperature of water or the pH of a liquid, or is it more like a tally of responses, like how many people preferred one scenario over another? Take a minute to think about your data from your experiment, and then pick the chart type that matches it. If your input is time, a line graph is a great choice. If your input is numerical, check out an XY scatter plot. If your input is different categories, try using a bar graph, a column chart, or a pictograph. If you have survey results or you want to show the percent of a whole, look at using a pie chart. Finally, if you want to show how survey results or the percent of a whole changed over time, check out a time-based area chart. Once you know which chart type would showcase your results well, check out the video that walks you through how to create the chart yourself.